We're already more than halfway through Shogun's run. There have been assassination attempts, brutal slayings, secret affairs, and more than one visit to local courts in Kiku. Now that we're officially in the show's endgame, we can expect even more action, danger, tragedy, and triumph. Nagakedo brained himself a rock in the most recent episode of Shogun. He was attempting to kill his uncle Seiki. This unnecessary death will undoubtedly influence a lot of what happens in Episode 8, The Abyss of Life as Toranaga tries to come to terms with the possibility that his formal surrender to Osaka and the Council of Regents caused his son's death. There's no doubt that Toranaga will not accept Nagakado's death well, even though their father-son relationship hasn't always been the best in the world. Even if Seiki didn't physically touch the kid, he will justifiably blame him for it. Moreover, it's possible that he will become so enraged with Ishido and the Council of Regents that he withdraws his submission and takes serious action. In the event that the television adaptation adheres faithfully to the novel, we will be building towards Mareko and Blackthorn traveling to Osaka in order to coerce Ishido into disclosing that he is effectively keeping the rest of the council prisoner. According to the storyline titles and synopses that are currently available, this will occur in Episode 9. Therefore, Episode 8 will undoubtedly set the stage for it. Although Shogun hasn't followed the book exactly up to this point, the overall plot has kept mostly the same and I do believe this will continue as we approach the last few episodes. The novel's ending is renowned for being its weakest section, so if there are any significant story twists, they probably have to do with Mareko's death and Blackthorn's eventual destiny. Still, based on what we know thus far about upcoming episodes, I don't think the show will deviate significantly from the original material. The synopsis for Episode 9 and Episode 10 relate to Mareko and Blackthorn's trip to Osaka to face Ishido and a tragic death, respectively. This is understandable given that Mariko dies in Osaka in a selfless act that will most likely become the most watched television moment since Hodor opening the door in Game of Thrones. Additionally, I don't see anything different in Blackthorn's storyline, such as his crew being horrified by how Japanese he has turned into, or him staying in Japan in the end, with Toranaga setting fire to his ship to keep him loyal to Ishido and be useful to him when he becomes Shogun, which was his whole plan. The eighth episode of Shogun will air on FX on Tuesday, April 9, 2024.